Hey, what's up? So, I'm going to give a quick guide on how to level enchanting really quick. So what you're going to need, right, is to get a bunch of common and lesser soul gems, and then eventually um, some petty ones too, right? They're all filled. Um, you can buy these from, like, any of the court wizards for, like, a very cheap amount of gold. And you're going to need to get the, um, the banishment enchantment, right? So the best place to get that is from the Fletcher shop in Solitude, right? This guy's gonna have a good chance of selling an item with the banishment enchantment. Um, like I'm looking at right now, um, he doesn't have it right now. So if he doesn't have the um, enchantment, you can reset his inventory by um, just quickly going to fists, um, saving your game, punching the NPC, and reloading. And this will reset his entire inventory. Your typical. So, as you can see, huntsman. he's now selling. Um, from the quick look I before, you can see he's selling different stuff now. Um, so this is going to be an easy way to keep resetting his inventory until you get something with the banishing Please enchantment. If you're ever in need of so, supplies. the next thing you're going to need is a bunch of iron and leather strips, which you can also just buy from blacksmiths, to make a, an absolute metric ton of just iron daggers right here I have 26 which is a pretty good amount and you're gonna wanna go to um, an enchantment table right I'm not gonna walk all the way to the blue palace I don't even know where the enchantment table is in there I never go to I don't go to solitude a lot but so um, an easy route is you just walk into like any any hold, um, well, main most holds somewhere is going to have an enchanting table, or if you have a house, um, you can just do it there, right? Go up to the arcane enchanter, go to items, iron dagger, enchantment, banish. See, and you see that that's worth 658 gold with a common soul gem, and look how much that moves my enchanting bar up. This is also going to make you a ton of money. You're going to be able to sell these for just a lot of cash. Um, and you're going to want to go to different court wizards and the, um, the College of Winterhold. Because um, most of the mages in the college are going to sell these soul gems. And then you can just sell them the iron daggers with the enchants. You get the, um, the merchant perk in speech. Um, but if not, like it's not a huge amount of money. And you'll be able to sell these to blacksmiths and such. And you'll be able to just reset their inventories by using the, um, the previous glitch I uh, showed you. So this is going to let you raise your enchanting skill quite a bit um, and really give you a lot of money to play around with. It's the easiest way I've found to raise enchantment um, without like burning a huge hole in your pocket. You are going to need a fair amount of like initial gold to start this, usually anywhere from like six to 8,000 um, to buy the first um, like banishing item. It'll probably be like a bow of some sort from the Fletcher. Um, that's going to run you six to 8,000 gold. but like as soon as you spend the gold you're gonna be able to enchant a bunch of daggers and then sell them back to them to get all the gold back um, and then a little extra whatever extra you started with so you're gonna be able to really quickly just kind of turn that back but you are gonna need to find like 8k gold before you can do that so that's my um, very quick little enchanting guide um, on how to get to max enchanting because it levels you up very quickly uh, you're also gonna get decent smithing from crafting a ton of iron daggers and uh, yeah that's it